My name is Karen. I teach out of California. So I teach in the Berkeley, Oakland, and San Francisco studios. And I know that we're reaching across over to the East Coast today. And I'm not sure of anyone else um, from other parts of the world, but just a big welcome. And we'll get started in child's pose. So come on to your mat if you're not already there. And if you're just coming in, no problem. Just be sure that you're muted. And then uh, just settle into your body. Right. Not necessarily relax or just find an easy position for you that makes sense in your body today. So letting your hips just float back towards your heels and bring your forehead to rest on the mat. Deep, full breaths in and out just to start. Feeling the depth of your inhales on the inhalation as it moves in through the nose travels along the back of the throat all the way down to your belly as you feel your belly expand and then letting the breath move back out in the same path. Maybe it's a soft, gentle sigh as you let the breath move out. A ha or a hmm, or perhaps even a to relax the face, nice neutral face, relax the jaw, the lips, the chin. If you can, close your eyes. And if you can at any point during class where you feel sustained and strong and it's available to you, close your eyes. Just so that you can just turn slightly inward to notice what's happening within the physical self. So we do things all day long, very efficient, multitasking. Try to move away from that practical, efficient mind. Don't let, them, don't let yourself tell stories to your body, but let your body tell stories to you right, as you move through this practice. Breathe vibrationally. Breathe with sound. Let's take a breath together wherever you are in your breath cycle. Exhale, slowly empty out the lungs, S-H-A. Inhale, full and deep. Big breath in through the nose, all the way to the belly. Hold it. Exhale, open the mouth, side out, H-A. If that offers you something, and that something is unique and individual to you, and you want that again and again, take those vibrational breaths. Start to walk the fingers long towards the top of the mat. Feel the stretch of the fingers. You flare your fingers out. You fan your fingers wide. Press into your fingertips as you press your forehead a little further into the mat. Find your side bodies, and then you gently pull your hips back as you reach your hands in opposition towards the front wall or towards the top of the mat. On an inhale, Come into a tabletop position and start to move through the spine a little bit up and down. Inhaling, looking up, tilt your chin, tailbone up, belly falls. You find cow. Exhale, you round the spine, chin towards chest, cat. Open up between the shoulder blades. Inhale, deep breath in, look forward. Pull your heart forward as you find a slight tilt at the tailbone. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, deep breath in. Expand through the front side body, exhale, contract through the front side body, open up through the back body. And then if you'd like to, you can continue with these cat cows warming up the spine, moving the spine up and down, or you can start to move your spine over to the left, to the right. You can find an undulation if you want to find that way of a snaking of the spine or a gentle C curve as you look back towards each hip. Keep your eyes soft, relax the jaw. And over the next few breaths, come back into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Stretch the soles of the feet. Okay? Feel the heels. Feel the insteps of your feet open. Fan your toes wide onto the mat. Take a full inhale. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips up towards the sky. And then slowly start to pedal out through the feet. Drop the head a little side to side, forward and back, whatever feels good. Noticing the size of your neck. As you fan your fingers even wider, nice wide base for your hands, nice wide base for your feet. 
hug the low belly up and in. So with the belly strong, it might help coax the hips up just a little bit higher as you press the front of your heart towards your thighs. And if you're moving, you start to taper the movements and find relative stillness and look to your hands about shoulder width distance, approximately. Right? If you feel really crunchy in the shoulders, if you've been doing a lot of work on the computer, bring your hands out a little wider, maybe as wide as the outer edges of the mat. And look back towards your feet. Your feet are approximately hips width distance. That's between six to eight inches. We'll measure at the top of the mat and we'll have a better reference. Open up the backs of thighs towards the back wall. Feel your sit bones lift up towards the ceiling as you drop the head heavy. On an inhale, bend your knees. On an exhale, slowly walk up to the top of the mat. Find your forward fold. At the top of the mat, let yourself release. Soft bend in the knees. Let your spine drip, drape out of the waist. So you feel the crown of your head move in the direction of the ground. You feel your arms heavy, the finger bones heavy. If you want to open up through the shoulders gently, you can grab the opposite elbows. You can interlace your fingers at the nape of the neck, just a traction more length through the spine. Otherwise, let your arms just heavy down towards the mat. Feeling the breath move. And then slowly look at your feet, spot hips with distance. Now to measure two soft fists between the inner arches of your feet. On an inhale, lengthen into a half lift. Flatten your spine as you come up. Now your hands can either stay on the ground or come up to your shins or up to your thighs that avoid the knees. Pour a little bit more weight into the front parts of your feet. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen through the sides of your neck. Hug your low belly up and in. Take a full inhale here. Lengthen long, half lift. Exhale, fold. Two more times. Inhale, flatten your spine, navel in, half lift. Guide the crown forward, sit bones back. Exhale, release. One more time, one breath, one movement. Inhale. Let your spine grow long, let the belly be firm. Exhale, release, and then bend your knees, roll up, stand up, extend your mountain pose. Reach up, reach tall. Spread your toes wide into the mat. Place all four corners of your feet actively into the ground, big toe mound, pinky toe mound, inner and outer heel. Slide your quads back, so it's like pulling of the kneecaps to recruit the quads as you Anchor your tailbone down and under, pull your low belly up and in. Feel your navel fasten itself towards the back body as you rise long out of the waistband. Feel the extension of the arms and then softening of the shoulders. Just close your eyes. It's a beautiful way to practice. It really is. Just to go inward. Okay? On an inhale, open your eyes, look up, reach back. On an exhale, float yourself down, forward fold. Soft bend in the knees. Your next breath in, rise up, extend your mountain pose, reach up, reach back. Exhale, fold forward. Next breath in, rise, extend your mountain pose like a wave. The inhalation guides you all the way up. Exhale, the exhalation helps you fold down, keep your belly strong. Two more times. Your breath, your movement. Here's your first one breath, one movement. Feeling the wave of your inhalation, feeling the exhalation support you. And after the second one, we'll meet in a forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale your hands down, step your feet back, pause in upper push-up plank position. Draw the toes back so that you find the entire length of your body strong. Right? The stacking of the shoulders on top of the wrist provides that foundation. And try not to let your hips slump or, or move up, right? So the, the glutes or your, your, your booty is in line with your shoulders. You can stay here or come onto your knees. Take a full inhale here, press the floor away, exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, draw your heart forward and up as you untuck your toes, upward facing dog. So the length of your arms appear, lift of your chest. Exhale, tuck the toes under, send your hips up towards the sky, down dog. Slow breath out, exhale. Inhale, full and deep, big breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, side out, H-A. Your next breath in guides your right leg up. 
reach it towards the back wall. As you exhale, open up across the right side. So bend the right knee, circle through the hip, twirl the ankle, spread the toes, whatever feels right for you. Maybe it's a really big, generous movement. Perhaps it's very small and subtle. Take an inhale here, reach your right toes long. As you exhale, draw your knee in towards the nose, round your spine, scoop your belly up and in. Inhale, lengthen, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest, round. Inhale, reach the leg long and back. Exhale, down dog. On an inhale, guide your left leg long, reach it towards the back. On the exhale, bend the left knee. Explore left side and root firmly and evenly through the hands. Take a full inhale here, reach the left toes long. Exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest, round. Inhale, reach the leg long. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, float your foot down, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, guide your right leg up. On your exhale, pull your right foot through between your hands. Lower your left knee down, untuck your left toes. We're gonna breathe into the front of your left hip flexor for a moment. Stack your right knee on top of right ankle, and it's okay for it to be behind it, but it's best. It's best supported when it's directly above it. But try not to let the knee move past the ankle. Chin towards chest, round your spine forward. Press the entire top of your left foot into the mouth. Slide your left knee back a little bit so you really feel into the psoas hip flexor. Take a breath here. On the exhale, press back into your hands. Kick up onto your left toes. Straighten your left leg. Feel your left heel down. On an in-breath, rise, warrior one. And as you come into warrior one, you bring your shoulders to square towards the front. And then gently guide your left hip forward, right hip back, but not at the expense of the knee. So if you feel a twisting feeling in the back knee, take a wider stance. Heel toe your right foot towards the right. right. This will help give space for the hips too and also will protect the knee. Knee above ankle. And again, knee above ankle because that is where it's the strongest, most supported. That means bring your foot in a little closer, you do that. Beyond it, not so much. Behind it, it's okay. But Directly on top of the ankle, perfect. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, hands come down. Step your right foot back and move through your flow on toes, on knees, halfway down. Inhale, draws your heart forward. Shoulders away from ears, heart opens, tops of the feet on the mat. Exhale, tuck the toes under, send your hips up towards the sky, down dog. On an inhale, then lift your left leg up. On an exhale, float your left foot through. Lower your right knee down, untuck your right toes. Slide your right knee back, so you're more in the knee thigh area, and point your right toes directly back. Send the hips forward and down and breathe into the front of your right thigh, your right hip flexor. Right? I know my hip flexors tend to be really tight, especially because I'm doing a lot more sitting. And then you can drop your head heavy. I see some of you are moving into a different shape. It's perfect, beautiful, Lauren, gorgeous, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. <laughs> Take one more inhale here. Exhale, press back into your hands. And then kick up onto your right toe, straighten your right leg, and then feel your right heel down. On a breath in, rise, warrior one. So as you reach the fingers tall, stack the shoulders on top of the hips. And if you notice that you're billowing out through the chest, See if you can hug the low belly up and in. Really coordinate those muscles. Have them cinch in to give yourself, keep yourself lifted through the heart. When you feel your biceps frame, your ears, fingers tall towards the sky. Press into the feet. Inhale, thumbs back behind you. Exhale, hands down. Step back and move through your vinyasa flow. And one breath, one movement. Warrior one on the right side. Warrior one on the left side. You can skip the low lunge. And we'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Very nice.
honoring your breath and the movements and yeah, let the your body tell the story of the sequence, right? Don't tell the body what it can or cannot do, what it should or shouldn't do. Gorgeous, Sarah. Beautiful, everyone. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, let's take a breath together. Exhale, slow breath out, empty lungs. Inhale, full and deep, in through the nose, to the belly. Exhale, let it go, H-A. On an inhale, bend your knees. On an exhale, walk up to the top of the mat, find your forward fold. Feet a comfortable hips with distance. If you like to eyeball measure whatever feels right for you, just nice and easy through the toes. On an inhale, lengthen half lift, elongate. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Your next breath in, chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back. Reach the arms tall, biceps come to frame the ears. And maybe you don't sit that deeply, or maybe you sit all the way down. Feel the downward motion of your heels and feel your sit bones move in that direction. And you feel your quads nice and strong. Send your shin bones back so that the knees come to stack on top of the ankles. Keep your belly up and in. And now you're finding your focus, right? Your stamina. Maybe you breathe in a little bit fuller, or perhaps you press the breath out a little bit more deliberately, a ha or a hoo or a brrrr. Take one more inhale here, sit a little bit deeper, reach up. Exhale, stand all the way up. Inhale, reach up, look back. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, release, forward fold. Bring your right fingers between your big toes. Come onto your fingertips, bend your right knee generously. Keep your left leg as straight as you can. On an inhale, reach your left hand up towards the sky. You roll your left chest open, stacking the left shoulder eventually on top of the right. Active reach of the left finger so you're not dumping everything into the right hand. So if you were to lift the right hand, you can totally float here. Okay. Breathe along the contour of your left leg. Press into your inner heels. Take a full inhale. Roll it open. Exhale, left hand comes down. And replace your right hand with your left Bend your left knee deeply, straight right leg, inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Maybe you look up towards your right hand. Take a full inhale here, long spine, open up the chest. Exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down. Step your feet back and travel through your flow. Glide through it. And as you hover halfway down, squeeze your elbows and keep your belly strong. As you lift up and upward facing dog, you feel the opening across the front side body. And back and down dog, and exhale, the hips lift up towards the sky. Re-engage the core. Slow breath out, exhale. Inhale, full, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, side out, H-A. So. Your next breath in guides your right leg up. Next breath through, right foot through between your hands. Feel your left heel down. Left heel feels down. Pause here, breathe here. Arms up towards the sky. Now take a moment here and slowly start to bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Keep your right knee stacked on top of the right ankle nice and strong through the feet. See if you can glue the heels of the hands together without locking the elbows out, really pulling the shoulders back, opening up across the chest, keeping your heart nice and open, right? Allowing for the feeling, squeeze your shoulder blades, take a full inhale. On the exhale, bring your fingers tall towards the sky. Back to warrior one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Longer stance for most. Even if it means just moving the front foot a millimeter forward, just a longer stance. It's a nice wide base here. Firm up through the feet, nice strong legs, bringing the knee to stack on top of the ankle. So by pressing it towards pinky toe side. And what's more important here, warrior two, is that the, the hips are level and the shoulders are level. So the tendency is for the back hip to hike up. So drop the back hip down. You might sit a little further into the front knee. And then as you find your shoulders, you open up through the left shoulder in line with the right, nice broad reach across the chest all the way to the fingertips. Now flip your right palm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach forward. 
Exhale, up and back, reverse your warrior. As you reverse your warrior, the front knee, it wants to straighten. I know mine does. So I really have to pay particular attention that it doesn't move back with me. I reach the fingers tall and breathe along my side body. If you notice if the right shoulder is moving behind you and the left shoulder is moving forward, you're twisting in that direction, flatten yourself out. Bring your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Take a full inhale here, sit low, reach up. Exhale, hands come down, step back and move through your vinyasa. And you'll meet, we'll all meet in warrior one on the left side. Once you arrive in warrior one on the left. You feel your fingers tall to the ceiling or to the sky. Some of you are practicing outside. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so envious. And then slowly interlace your fingers behind you. Maybe the opposite grip. Just to open up the shoulders, right? We're doing a lot of sort of hovering over the news, over the computer, the tablet. I know I am on my phone. So just like nice release, open a chest heart opener, and then draw the knuckles down, wrap the arms back, open up across the chest. Take a full inhale here into your heart space. On the exhale, slowly guide your fingers tall towards the sky through the length of your side bodies. Full inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So as your left arm comes forward, right, and your arm, right arm moves back, now look to the front knee. The front knee wants to bow inwards and wants to move inwards. So gently press it towards pinky toe side and see so you can activate the outer left glute to maintain that, maintain that position. Okay, keep your belly strong. You feel the length of your torso, the width of your chest, the openness through the back body, right? Nice active reach. Flip your left palm up, inhale, reach it forward, forward, forward. Exhale, up, 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 and then slightly back as you find reverse warrior. Gorgeous, that's a beautiful wrap, right, Sarah? Reaching for your inner left hip crease and then lengthen out of the left waist. Take a full inhale here, beautiful, everyone. That's gorgeous, Garrett. Exhale, hands down, step back. And one breath, one movement. Warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. Now keep repeating it, let the body tell the story. If your body wants to rest, let yourself rest. Your body wants to work hard. Let it work hard. Don't tell it what to do. So moving intuitively. It's amazing. I feel like sometimes I can also think of the sequence itself like a story and each of the practitioners are different characters within the story that have, that converge and then they also separate, but they each have their own unique storyline. So you're moving in a different pace, different cadence, different way, your unique translation of the shape. Take your time if it is available to you, wherever you are, slow breath out, exhale, empty, S-H-S. Inhale through the nose, drop it into the belly, fill your throat, hold it. Exhale, H-A, ha. On an inhale, bend your knees. On an exhale, float, walk, hop, top of the mat, forward fold. Take your time. Take your time. Just hang in this forward fold, rag doll, we call it. Feel the upper body just oh, relax, release. Feel firm in the seat. Maybe you shift a little side to side. Your next breath in, half lift. Pull the belly in. Heart surges forward, exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Slowly start to slide your hands underneath your feet for gorilla pose. So bend your knees deeply if you need to, to access this. As you walk your toes into your inner wrist creases, be sure the thumb and the pinky, thumbs are facing inwards, pinkies outside. 
Now the weight naturally falls into the heels, right? You really want to bring a little bit more weight to the front parts of your feet. And you can drop your head nice and heavy. Relax through the sides of your neck. And you can stay right here. You can start to bend the elbow to pull yourself further under. You can also start to lift your sit bones up towards the sky to feel the backs of your legs open. One is not better than the other. They're just different, so you get to explore. What is your body telling you? Does it need some love for the hamstrings? Maybe the sit bones lift. You open up the backs of thighs. Maybe you just drop the head heavy. Wherever you are, find an inhale here. Many half lifts look forward in front of your mat. Exhale, release, and then take your hands from underneath your feet. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, release, chair pose on an inhale. And move into it seamlessly. Notice if the breath gets tricky, see if you can smooth it out. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Sit your seat back a little bit further. Hug your low belly in. Draw your navel towards spine. See if you can bring your biceps a little closer towards the ears because you can. Find more length through the arms from the sensation from your armpits all the way to the wrist. Stand the fingers wide. Take one more inhale here. Sit a little bit deeper. Reach up. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, reach up. Look back. Go back. Exhale, fold forward. Forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, your hands down, step your feet back, pause and upper push up. Bring your big toes into touch, squeeze your inner thighs in. Bring your right hand underneath your nose and roll over onto right side, side arm plank. You can stack your feet, lift your left arm up, stack your feet, stagger your feet. You can come down to bottom knee or bottom forearm, as long as the forearm is parallel to the top of the mat. Rainbow your hips up towards the sky. Feel how strong your body is. Cooling the strength, the muscles in your ankles. Beautiful holly lifting the top leg up. Maybe bringing the bicep, top bicep by the ear. Gorgeous garret. Very nice, Samantha. Take a full inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down. And then you move over onto left side. Nice wide base through the left hand. And reach the right fingers tall towards the ceiling. Right. Very nice, Sarah. Outer glutes. Help guide the hips up. Very nice, Lauren. Take a full inhale. Beautiful, everyone. Exhale. Return back into upper push-up plank position. You can press straight back into down dog, or you can move through your vinyasa flow. Once you get back to down dog, a ha, or a brrr, let's take a lion's breath together. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, let's turn it to an exhale. Empty lungs, SHA. Shh. Inhale through the nose, big breath in, generous, full, feel expansive, hold it, scrunch your face up tight. Exhale, eyes wide, tongue out, a ha. Your next breath in, right leg lift. Exhale, right foot through between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, straighten your back leg. Right. Send, think of opening up the left thigh bone up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. With your left hand down, inhale, reach your right hand up, open up for a twist, roll your right chest open, and see if you can drop your right hip down and in, but notice that the left hip is starting to droop, lift your left hip up, keep the hips as level as you can as you rotate just from below the navel, open up, take an inhale, exhale, right hand comes down, keep your back heel lifted, high lunge crescent, on an inhale, reach up. Stay strong in the feet, strong in the legs, start to scissor the inner thighs in. And see if you can create a more neutral position for the pelvis by dropping the tailbone down and under pull the low ribs in. Biceps by the ears, fingers tall, inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Feel your back heel down, front foot forward just a little. Feel that reach across the chest, broadness through the upper back. Take an inhale here, reach long. Exhale, right hand to the inside of your right foot, left hand up towards the sky for side angle. Press your right arm into your right knee so it continues to stack on top of the ankle. And then wrap your right hip under as you roll your left hip back. This is a nice hip opener. Nice active reach through the left finger so much so that you can actually lift your right hand up and you're fine. 
Uh, so we're gonna transition to balancing half moon. So bring your left hand onto your left hip. Look in front of your right toes. Bring your right fingertips in front of right toes. Walk your left foot in, in, in until you start to pour all the weight into your right leg. Lift your left leg up. Flex your left toes like mad. Use your left hand, guide your left hip open. Maybe you reach your left fingers up towards the sky. Pull up on the pelvic floor. Press out through both feet. You may look to the side or maybe you look all the way up. Deep breaths in and out. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, left hand comes down. Left foot up towards the sky. Inhale, reach it tall. Breathe into the contour of your right leg. Exhale, left foot forward. Come into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Bring your big toes into touch. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Your next breath in, thunderbolt. Bend your hips, bend your knees. Sit your hips back, press your palms. So arms in one nice straight line. Maybe a little straighter in front of your face so that you can open up through the back body and feel into the triceps. Take a full inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale your heart to your thumb, belly in. Exhale, lean forward, twist to the right. Hook your level, left elbow across your right knee thigh. Knees in line tells you that the hips are in line. Continue to roll your right chest open and think. Move your right hip away, your left hip away from your right shoulder. You can fly away, perhaps on this side. Left arm down, right arm up. Beautiful, very nice, SK. Take a full inhale here. Nice, Nicholas. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, dive and fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, half lift. And your exhale takes you through a flow. You move through your vinyasa. Very nice work. <laughs> Ty's like, we didn't do the other side. We'll get to it. <laughs> That's gorgeous work. Exhale slowly, empty lungs. Inhale, full, deep, rich breath in. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, aka. Ha. Your next breath guides your left leg up. As you exhale, float your left foot through. Keep your right heel lifted. Strong, strong right leg. Press your right thigh bone up towards the sky. On an inhale, lift your left hand up towards the ceiling. Roll your left chest open. Reach your left fingers tall towards the sky. Very nice, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, stacking the shoulders. Feel your spine long. Take a, one, take a breath here on the exhale. Left hand comes down. Stay strong on the feet. On an inhale, rise, high lunge, crescent. So equal attention and weight through the front and back foot. See if you can press the right knee a little straighter. Very nice adjustment. Isabel, maybe you're Isabel, but maybe you're not Isabel, but Isabel's friend. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Take a full inhale here, reach out. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So bring your left arm forward, right arm back. Feel your right heel down. Strong in the front knee, strong in the back leg. Take a full inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes up as you come into side angle pose. So from the waist up, it's that warrior two feeling long through the spine, open across the chest, but also the back body is nice and open. All right. And when you start to float, we're going to fly into balancing half moon. So right hand lands on right hip. Look towards your left toes, your front toes. Left fingers in front of left toes. Walk your right foot in, 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 in. And then you launch yourself onto your left leg. Lift your right leg up, up, up. So yeah, fingers forward. You got it, Sarah. Very nice. So inner, inner right thigh helps guide your right leg up. Flex strongly through your right toes. Strongly through your right toes. Yeah, you got it. That's really nice, Sarah. Roll your left hip open. Maybe right, right hip open, maybe right fingers up towards the sky. Take a full inhale here. Exhale. Right hand comes down. Right toes up towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Bring forehead to shin. Exhale. Right foot down. Forward fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Bring your big toes into touch. Now for the second side of Thunderbolt. Bend your hips. Bend your knees, bend your hips. Reach the arms long. Take a full breath here. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale your heart to your thumbs. Now you get to lean over and twist to the left. Hook your right elbow across your left knee side. Really strong work, very nice. Nicholas, maybe your right knee back just a little bit so your hips stay in line. Yeah, there you go. And you get more of the twist from just below the navel because the torso's twisting it and the hips don't take away from it. Fly away perhaps on this side. Right arm down, left arm up. There, beautiful, Courtney. Take a full breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale your heart to your thumb. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, half lift, spine long. Exhale, your hands down, step your feet back and pause in upper push-up plank position. It's always like dun, 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 upper push-up plank. Come onto your forearms for forearm plank. So you can have the forearms like the number 11, palms face down or interlace your fingers underneath you. Squeeze your inner elbows in and traction your elbows back to pull your heart forward. And notice if you're slumping in the hips or lifting up in the hips, hips in line with the shoulders, nice diagonal, nice direct line from the crown of the head all the way to the heel. Take a full inhale. Exhale, press your right palm into the mat, then your left palm. Full inhale here, press the floor away. Exhale, move through your flow. So breath out, exhale, empty. Inhale, full and deep, big breath in. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, H-A. Come on, two hands and knees. Come back into tabletop. Start to find a few cat cows around the spine, circles through the neck. And then stack the shoulders on top of the wrists, hips on top of the knees. Hug your low belly up and in. See if you can tuck your tailbone down and under, pull it slightly in. The crown moves directly forward, so you are gazing a little bit in front of your mat. On an inhale, guide your right arm forward, left leg back, spinal balance. Keep your belly strong as you reach your fingers forward and send the back leg back, back toes back. Maybe lift a little higher. Okay. Right, squeeze of your left glute to help stabilize. Take an inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee, underneath the body, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. A little higher, maybe. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Pause here, maybe lift a little higher, a little higher. Take one more breath, exhale, all fours. Cat cows, cat cows. And then find the structure, recapture the structure of your tabletop. And then left arm forward, right leg back. Feel the reach, but see if you can send the top of your left arm bone back into the socket. Take a full inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, underneath the body, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Maybe they touch round, round, round. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Pause, maybe a little higher, maybe a little higher. Take one more inhale. Exhale, all fours. Now take your right hand, reach up. Exhale, right arm under, left, thread the needle. Lower your right shoulder down, let the hips float up towards the sky. Your left hand can be in front of your left face or you can reach your fingers forward or you can wrap your left hand behind your back and add a little bit of a twist. Tuck your chin slightly in towards the chest. Open up through the back of the neck. Gorgeous. Stay with it. 
take another breath in. And on the breath out, press yourself back into tabletop position. Inhale, guide your left arm up, and then the left arm sweeps underneath the, the right. Relax your belly, let the hips go. Soften your gaze. Beautiful. Letting everything just slow down. One more breath here. And on the exhale, release yourself out of this pose, come back into tabletop. If you'd like to move back into a child's pose, you're welcome to. You can also start to find some cat cows or straight back into downward facing dog. And then down dog pedal out through the feet and shake the head a little side to side up. <sighs> Slow breath out, exhale. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> your next breath in guides your right leg up. And as you exhale, explore the right side. So bend the right knee, wiggle the toes, circle, maybe a straight line through the leg. And when you, you're ready, right knee behind right wrist, half pigeon. So the shin comes down, right? Flex your right toes towards your right knee. And then the forgotten leg, which is generally the back leg. I forget about it. So be sure that it's in one nice long straight line behind you. The hips are level. And you can stay on your hands, lifted. You can come on to your forearms. You can come all the way down. Just noticing where the sensations are in the body, where there are greater sensations, maybe more subtle sensations. And it's not to discard or to eliminate the subtle sensations and just focus on what is the most intense, but those are important too. The subtleties in the body also tell you something. notice all these areas, right? Pain is not good, but sometimes in the discomfort, there is something. Just think about why it is that you wrap your attention. Oh, cat, your cat just walked by the screen, so cute. Wrap, you wrap your attention around the places that feel uncomfortable. I'm not talking just specifically about physical body, I'm talking about emotional body. So stay with it. Wherever you are, exhale, slow breath out. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly. Exhale, open the mouth, side out, H-A. Press yourself up. Find your way back to the downward facing dog. Move the leg around. Chanel, beautiful stretch. Is that you, Chanel from Berkeley? <laughs> yes. And once you find your way back to the upside down V shape, when you're ready, left side waits for you, or perhaps it's a figure four on the left side. So figure four, you come onto your back. Bend your knees, cross your left ankle over your right knee thigh and capture the back of your right thigh with your hand. Right, again, feeling for the subtle things that your body is telling you. Left side, different from right. So foot in closer, foot further away from you, depending on the intensity that the body needs. And sometimes we just want it to be intense all the time. 
right? We feel like, oh, I have to be sweating and really feel the, the work in the body for us to feel successful. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, here in this moment. Tapping into the subtlety. <laughs> Can we draw the subtlest of, of breath to the areas that are wrapped rather tightly? Encourage an exploration of it. Maybe holding on to things that we weren't even aware of, especially during this time, a lot. Slow breath out, exhale. Shh. Inhale through the nose, big breath in. Exhale, H A. Slowly you move. And take your time. And you turn back to downward facing dog. In down dog, shake the head, side to side, nod your head up and down, walk on your hands, walk on your feet, pedal out through the feet, let the hips shimmy back and forth, feel the bend in the knees, feel your heart press fully towards the front of your thighs. On an inhale, shoulders on top of the wrists, upper push up. As you come into upper push up, return back into forearm plank. Forearms down, palms face down, or interlace the fingers. Keep your belly strong, the breath nice and full, and relax the jaw, the face. Right? <sighs> Keep looking a little further in front of your mat so that you're not dropping the chin too far towards the chest and you don't want to crank the head up too far. Take one more inhale here, exhale, knees, then hips down. Come into Sphinx Pose. Press the forearms onto the mat. If they're not there, palms face down. Tops of the feet meet the mat. Press firmly into the tops of the feet so the, the knees actually lift up off the mat and draw the heart forward. Be sure that the elbows are directly underneath the shoulders like an L shape. Feel into the low back. Maybe a slight squeeze of your glutes and pull your navel towards spine as your heart lifts. Squeeze your shoulder blades as if they could Scoop the back of the heart and press your heart further forward. Take a full inhale. Exhale all the way down, forehead down. Now draw your arms alongside body, palms face down. Tops of the feet meet the mat. Interlace your fingers as you did in uh, the warrior one to open up across the chest. Wrap the arms in the back. Big toes into touch, legs strong. Squeeze your hands together, hug your belly up and then press your hip points into the mat. On an inhale, slowly start to lift, lift, lift. Lift your shoulders up, heart lift. Lift your legs up, point the toes towards behind you. Use the strength of your hands. Feel the reach of the knuckles behind you, heart up. Take one more breath in, beautiful. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Bring one ear to the mat, close your eyes. Let the heels splay out. Bring your arms along side body, palms face up. Bring the opposite ear to the mat. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. And slowly start to Come to standing on your knees, so bring your hands underneath you. Press yourself up. If you'd like to, you're welcome to double up on the mat. Just to provide a little bit more cushioning underneath the knees. That always feels good. And then knees about hips with distance, tops of to the feet on the mat. So shoelace by your feet on the mat. Fingers flare, fan, spread wide on the low back. Press your arm bones back. Already you feel your heart 
open chest open squeeze the shoulder blades once again and feel that scooping sensation of the shoulder blades pressing the front of the heart further forward take an inhale here tall through the crowd exhale and slowly as you shift your hips forward lean your head back and you feel your head cradled there by the shoulders and maybe you stay right here feeling your throat open right? keep pressing top Firmly on the tops of the feet and the shins as you open up your heart. Feel your heart float up towards the sky. The breath, maybe it feels a little tricky. Just breathe in and out through the nose. Take one more inhale, beautiful. Exhale slowly with hands on low back, roll yourself back up. That's gorgeous. Settle your hips back towards your heels. Come and sit in hero's pose. There you are, take a moment and let everything arrive, all the feelings. Maybe there's a little bit of unease. Maybe there's joy, perhaps there's exhilaration, perhaps there's sadness. We're feeling many things these days. One is not better than the other. There's just different feelings. As I said to one of the other teachers in class before we started, we're just doing our best right now. Doing our best. And just know that you are doing your best. Open your eyes. Extend your legs out long in front of you. Come into a forward fold. So legs can be straight. You can reach for your toes as you lengthen your body forward and down, or you can have the knees bent. The low back is feeling tight or crunchy or rigid. Mine usually does. You can grab for opposite elbows and round your spine forward. Whichever variation you've chosen. Think inhale, back of the heart lifts. Exhale. Front of the heart softens. Take one more breath in. Exhale, roll yourself back up. Walk on to the spot right between your, right behind your sit bones. Come into half boat. So bend the knees. Belly is in, lift your heart tall to the sky, long thigh. Bring your arms alongside you, palms face one another, and then close your eyes. Keep the heart lifted. Keep the breath moving, seamless, fluid. Bring your knees in a little closer towards your heart. Lift your heart a little higher towards your knees. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Keep the feet flexed or pointed, activate through the feet. Long arms, through the length of your arms, reach through the fingers, take a full inhale, squeeze it in, exhale, slowly lower all the way down. <sighs> Draw your knees in towards your chest. <sighs> a little motion back and forth. And then bring your feet out as wide as the outer edges of the mat. Let the knees knock in, arms like the capital T. So feet out wide, and then let the knees fall to the right. Look away from the knees, look over your left shoulder. Just gently allowing this twist to happen. And then knees back to center, allow the knees to move over towards the left as you look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center, knees to the right. You can move a little bit quicker, not too fast or you can pause for a few beats on one side or the other. Then eventually returning back to center, draw your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, give yourself a big squeeze. And then press the soles of the feet together, wrap your hands around your feet, pull your heels in towards your face. Right, towards your navel, open up through the hips, and then happy baby waits for you if you want it. 
So reach for your feet, separate your feet, draw the knees a little closer towards the ground. You can rock a little side to side and those vibrational breaths, they're there for you. Uh, or a lion's breath, eyes wide, tongue out of Let's take one together before we come all the way down to rest. So exhale, slow breath out. S A T S. Inhale through the nose, scrunch your face up tight, 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 tight. Squeeze it in, take in a little bit more air. Exhale, eyes wide, tongue out of Ha. Slowly. Start to extend the legs out long. Savasana, find rest and take your time getting into it. We still have a few minutes and really reserve the entire hour for yourself because everything you've done today, prior to class, during class, leads up to this. This is just as important, if not the most important pose in any sequence. Feel your face relax, let the belly be soft. A few announcements before I read a quote. And you're welcome to stay in Savasana for as long as you'd like, but I will talk you out of Savasana and you can say quick goodbyes or if you have questions about any of the things that we're offering, then you're welcome to stay and we can chat. Um, Yoga to the People is a donation based studio. It always has been and it always will. So, give what you can give. Give when you can give. Suggested is 12. Um, you can head on to yoga to the people.com slash donate. I have the link at the top of the chat. You can go to Venmo. We're at yoga to the people. .com. You know, to the people and um and if you can't give please come back though in the way that you can share or help the community is by spreading the word right and we have teachers training that starts in about 10 days may 29th to be exact and TT has brought to me things I didn't know existed, right? It reinforced things that I knew about myself, but it also uncovered things that I didn't know existed. And I didn't even want to be a teacher when I first signed up. Not at all. I just wanted to deepen my practice. But through going through the course for 10 weeks, and being immersed in this incredible community, the supportive community that continues to support, I realized that there was something that I needed to share. What's my story, right? So I'd love for you to be able to share yours too. So if you have questions, hang out after class, come and talk to me. Otherwise, there is a um, go to yoga to the uh, ytp dot teachers training on Instagram or to the website. But in class with a quote and have you come out of Savasana, but most importantly, thank you. And a woman spoke saying, tell us of pain. And he said, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. Even as the stone of the fruit must break, that its heart may stand in the sun, so must you know pain. And could you keep your heart in wonder at the daily miracles of your life? Your pain would not seem less wondrous than your joy, and you would accept the seasons of your heart, even as you have always accepted the seasons that pass over your field. And you would watch with serenity through the winters of your grief. So exhale empty. Inhale through the nose to the belly. 
Exhale, gentle sigh out. Thank you so much. If you want to stay in Savasana, please do. Otherwise, slowly start to awaken up the fingers, the toes, roll over onto one side when you're ready and come to a seated position. And I will unmute all of you.